evening and thank you for coming out tonight. It's a pleasure for me to share my story with you. So again, my name is Ada and I've been in this community of Marple since um, 1994, that's 18 years. I was counting last night, wow, 18 years. And I've been a witness to many of the changes that have happened in this neighborhood. I hope that today, through sharing some of the stories that, um, of what I made today in, in the neighborhood, that you can sh get a glimpse of the friendly, compassionate, and cheerful neighborhood that Marple is at heart. It is my hope that it remains true for Marple in the many years to come as well. So going back to 1994, that was the summer when my family and I immigrated to Marple. And uh, we've lived in the same home since then. But back at the time, we knew very little about the community, let alone Canada. I didn't speak a word of English at the time either. And when September and the school year rolled around, um, you can imagine my experience going into the school system. Um, my mom would always retell my experience that I wasn't able to communicate with anybody for about a month. Um, this may sound scary, but at the time, um, that was not my memory of what happened. Um, this community actually really encouraged us and embraced us as newcomers. And I remember communicating with other Chinese children in the classroom and spending lunch hours with uh, my friend's moms who would speak Cantonese with me. So this uh, point now brings me to my prop here. This bag is uh, meant to represent a library tote. And uh, in here I have some books with me. And uh, the reason why I chose um, a library tote and some books is because um, the library, the um, Marple Library, meant a lot to me. Um, after school hours, my mom and would bring me and my sisters to the library, and we would spend countless hours there um, reading and picking up books to bring home. And I remember my mom would tell me um, to leave books behind because I was taking too many with me. So the most prized activity at the library would be story time and uh, the summer reading program. And I remember during the long summers, my sister and I would have competitions um, as to who could read the most books, and we'd compare our lists at the end of the summers. So as we grew older as well, the library um, became an integral part um, in improving English for me and uh, connecting to the community and to Canadian culture. And there were always more books to read and always more things to learn, so that was really special for me. Um, going back to Marple, um, I find that it's a very stable community for most of the people here. Um, I was reflecting last night and looking back at people um, living on my block. Um, I could count that most of them are still the same ones as they were 18 years ago. And my neighbors really helped to create a safe and friendly environment for me growing up. I remember my neighbor one time having us over to her house, introducing us to baking apple pie. And that was my first time I'd ever baked my first apple pie. Um, I'm amazed that she actually wasn't annoyed at us after the many times we had actually biked through her driveway without her permission. So sorry about that. The neighborhood is changing, however, um, and it's beginning to outgrow um, the public places that we have. Um, and this quick story can kind of illustrate that. We had a small schnauzer growing up, and she was a puppy um, when she would run off um, on us on her own excursions. She seemed to have a mind of her own, a really strong spirit. Um, and she, we would gasp as we watched as she daringly ran across Marine Drive. Um, my mom always says that if it were, that were to happen now, um, the dog surely would not be here. And I think this story, to me, really speaks to the massive volumes of traffic that now pass through the neighborhood. Um, as I got older as well and started to going to university, I also visited the library less and less frequently. Um, as, a as a student, quiet spaces and desk space was actually highly coveted, but I found the library um, was unfortunately just too small. So um, it's something that I hope for as well. It's my hope that Marple, um, there's affordable housing for families and young families to stay in the neighborhood and so they can create memories much like the ones that I had. And that the major arteries um, through the neighborhood um, get looked at as well because they can pose a safety concern for young families. And lastly, it's my vision that Marple plans for a bigger library that would be accessible and utilized by residents of all ages uh, in the many years to come. Thank you. Thank you.